City of Perth councillor has refused to explain his actions after being forced to admit to improper conduct and an attempted cover-up. Keith Yong registered a false address to get elected and sent ballot papers to family members who were ineligible to vote. For two long days, councillor Keith Yong said very little in the inquiry's witness box. And he said absolutely nothing as he left today's hearing. Did you know what you were doing when you were um, doctoring up ballot papers? Do you feel bad about using the council dining room as much as you do? Accused of abusing his $12,000 dining room privileges, inappropriately discussing evidence with other inquiry witnesses and trying to manipulate council election voting for his own benefit... You've got absolutely nothing to say at all about it. But before exiting the inquiry, triggered by the council's chaos, dysfunction and suspension, Mr Yong was grilled about his behaviour by inquiry lawyer Philip Urquhart. It shows a cover-up, he asked. Yes, was Mr Yong's response. Improper conduct by you, Mr Urquhart continued. Yes. The next witness under the spotlight was veteran councillor and publican Judy McAvoy. She was asked if a perfectly reasonable and compliant convenience store development in this Terrace Road building was rejected by councillors just to win the votes of unhappy residents. She denied it before Mr Urquhart produced an email from Ms McAvoy to councillor Jim Adamos after the development was sunk. You'll be in like Flynn in October, the email read. The inquiry was played a video of one of the convenience store investors giving evidence earlier at a hearing. He broke down and said that the rejection of the development prompted a heart attack and that his wife had left him over it. Mr Adamos is expected to give evidence tomorrow where no doubt more council secrets will be exposed. Gary Adsed, Nine News.